Hello everyone, welcome back to the final video in the series how to build a 3D printed jumbo jet engine model. In this video, I'm going to show you the extreme version of the models that I have designed and printed. Um, so let's get started. One of the changes that you may have already noticed by now is the color scheme. So instead of using all black for all the casings as per original models, I wanted to use something a bit more realistic. That's why I decided to go for that color, which is a silver metallic color. And I have to say, it is fantastic. It looks really, really good on the extreme version. It really gives the models this sort of metallic look. And if you are wondering what exactly did I use, what material did I use, I'm more than happy to tell you that ma the majority of the extreme version, about like 90%, uh, was printed using filamentive um, PLA. So if you're ever gonna make one of these and if you want the color to look like mine, just use filamentive. The other big difference is between the two models is the stand. Um, as you can see, I completely redesigned the stand for the extreme version. Now, don't get me wrong, the stand on the original version is a very, very good looking stand, but the, the only problem with this is it doesn't look realistic enough. So, when you look at the model, um, you know, what, you can easily say, okay, it is a jet engine model. Right, because of the stand. So I wanted to get away with this. I, I, I wanted to design something a bit more realistic, a bit more exciting. Um, that's why I decided to completely redesign this and uh, I went for that design, which is basically the, the engine build stand, the real engine build stand. And I have to say, it, it really, really makes the model stand out. And I'm pretty sure if you look at that model from the right angle, you probably wouldn't be able to tell whether that is a scale model or that is a real engine. Okay, so this is the new stand that I designed for the extreme version. Um, as you can see, I designed this based on a real engine build stand and I have to say it looks really really cool. I I, I really like this and um, again I used filament if um, silver PLA filament for that stand and again it, it just looks phenomenal. So very, very similar to um, the original design. Of course, this engine spin, it spin very well indeed, but you have the option. You can either spin it manually by hand, like I just did, or you could uh, spin it by using a small motor, which is attached to the back of the engine, which I'm gonna show you now. So this is the same drive that I use on my original models. Um, that's the motor holder which sit inside the exhaust nozzle and uh, this is the adapter which basically connects the uh, small shaft on the motor with the LP shaft on the engine. Um, so all I have to do is to remove the exhaust nozzle um, I'm gonna attach that to the rear the engine and all I have to do is just to put that in make sure that the shaft is engaged and then all I need to do now is just to put the exhaust nozzle back on Just like that and all you have to do is to turn on the motor and there you go
Okay, so here comes the more exciting part of the video. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna convert this model into a cutaway version. Very similar to uh, what I did previously in one of the videos uh, that I posted on my LinkedIn. Um, but the sequence is gonna be slightly different with this extreme model because of the new engine build stand. Um, and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna turn on the motor and you can see all the sharp spinning. Um, trust me, it's gonna look amazing. Okay, so right, firstly, um, what I want to do is to remove that post uh, on the engine build stand because otherwise I wouldn't be able to remove the A frame and the core fairings. Um, it's really easy, just all I have to do is to pull it up like that. Side. Right, so now I want to remove the upper splitter just like that. Next um, is the A frame on the left hand side and also a small section of the gold fairings. So that's the A frame and that's the gold fairing. We fix together like that. On the model okay now I'm gonna remove all these casing in one go very easy just like that right so the very last bits that I have to remove is that section of the fan case Okay, so this is the cutaway version of the extreme version. As you can see, I um, decided to keep the same color scheme on the extreme version. So I have red, uh, ambers, and blue. Um, the reason I want to do that is I want to uh, differentiate between the three shafts. So you have the HP shaft. Um, which is that one? You have the LP shaft, and you have sorry, IP shaft, and the, the amber, and you have the LP shaft is blue color. Um, so all these shafts rotate independently, but because I want to uh, make sure that it looks really cool when I spin the fan, I decided to tweak the design a little bit. So when I turn on the motor now, you can see all the shafts are spinning. Okay, let's. Uh, here we go. There you go. So, this is the cutaway version of the extreme version. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy the videos and I really hope after watching all 10 videos in the series how to build a 3D printed jumbo jet engine, you now are able to build one of these for yourself and if you do, uh, you can download my design for absolutely free from Thingiverse. Uh, I will post a link below this video so if you want you can just go on Thingiverse you can just download my design and if you do have access to a 3D printer please just go ahead um, I just want to let you know that um, because this whole model was printed on an Ultimaker S5 which is a really really good professional 3D printer um, so the tolerance and the clearance might not work for your 3D printer um, and it might not look as good as this one however you know I try to do my best to create the best design possible and actually you know the previous version was printed on a, a hobbyist 3D printer so um, if you do have a passion in 3D printing if you do want to have a go with this model please just go ahead and um, let me know if you have any questions so thank you very much and I will see you soon in my next project. Thank you.